They put me in the cell with a freaking psycho. And I'm thinking to myself like, oh my God, this dude is not taking his psychotic medication. These dudes continually come to my window. Now you're naked in this I'm butt naked. I'm butt naked in this cell. What's going on everybody? Welcome to After Prison Show. Old Joe and Free Dave, or Dave's Free, joining me here. I'm trying to make sure I've got my voice for this video. I've been dealing with a really bad cold slash fever for like the last week. And now the last symptoms of this that I'm dealing with are, well, I'm actually losing my voice. So I'm trying to keep and make sure that I do have my voice for this video because today we got something really special for you guys. I want to allow Dave to share some stories of what it was like for him this last year that he just spent <laughs> locked up. And I thought a really interesting thing that we should talk about here is what exactly your first day being locked up again was like. Now, you know, when you think about this, the first day that you spend locked up, it is absolutely going to suck. Whether it's your first time ever being locked up or whether it's your first day getting locked up again after you've been locked up multiple times in your life. And that's pretty much exactly what it was like for you when you had to go turn yourself in to serve this year. Yeah, I, uh, I, I didn't really, I was at a loss for words. I've never turned myself in. I've always, you know, going on we, the run. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to jail, you know, I always feel, you know, you know, the saying is, uh, you know, make them do their job. Make them do their job. But this time you decided to not make them do their job, and in fact, you turned yourself in. You did the right thing. You manned up. You knew you had made mistakes, and you owned up to that. I mean, I wanted to try something new, responsibility. You know, it was time It was time for me to grow up. I know it sucks that it's taken me this long, but I mean, I'm just glad that I'm here. I'm glad that I did it. I'm glad I made that choice. And you know, that's an interesting thing that you said. You said you wanted to try something different. You know, a lot of times we get locked up and we come out and we try to do the same things over again. And, you know, doing the same things, it tends to have the same results. You end up falling back into the same crowds, the same situations, possibly even the same addictions, and it's just a revolving door. You end up just going in and out of being locked up. Yeah, what do they say, uh, you know, insanity is... I wasn't actually going to say that because a lot of people say that um, the definition of insanity is doing the same things over and over again and expecting different results. I've actually heard that is not the definition of insanity at all. No, actually, I was going to speak about the definition of insanity... Before this I cut you off. Today. Yeah. What is the definition of it? So you know it. I don't know the, the real definition, but I met a guy first day. You know, in, in the jail I, I turned myself in at where y'all dropped me off. You know, my leg was broke. So number one, I'm already segregated. They put you in uh, medical, right? And medical is screwed up. It's already, you know, pretty much locked down. The smallest block they can find in the jail. They put me in this cell for intake because they have to like... TB test you, you right. gotta get some shot, take some blood, you know, they see what's wrong with you. So they throw me in this cell and I'm in there with this guy. And he was it, the definition of insane. He was the definition of insane. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you could judge, all right, you could judge for yourself. So this guy, right, <laughs> I can still remember him. All right, number one, when I get in there, first thing I do is make my bed, lay down. Go to sleep. I don't want to be there no more. I've only been there like an hour. I don't want to be there no more. So I'm like, it's bedtime. Right. You're absolutely sick to your stomach at this point. Yeah. You're like, oh my God, I just turned myself in. No I thanks. I don't want any bologna. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just ate four barbecue sandwiches. That is exactly what we ate. I did not forget about it. I told everybody about it. Like, yeah, I just ate me four bar. Nah, what? I ate two. I was like, I remember looking at you going, I want another one. you think one. I can get another one? You were like, you want another one? I was like, I mean, I'm full, but... Yeah. I'm getting ready to go to jail, so... Yeah, I want another one. Yeah. I remember the lady looking at me like, you can't eat that. And you sure did. Yeah, I sure did. So you're telling me that this guy that you met is immediately upon getting locked up. This is your first block that you're going into, which well, is the medical block. Well, it ain't even a block. It's like a horseshoe with a desk and then cells around it. Right. Right? And it's like two-man cells... 
And then there's one that's got like 15 men in it. So thank God they didn't put me in that one. They put me in a cell with another guy. Immediately, like I'm laying there and I'm trying to sleep. Did you introduce yourself to this guy when you were I mean, I said, you know, what's up, man? I'm Dave. But just from his first interactions with you. He, he it was like this. It was like, oh yeah, Dave. I'll just, my name's Ronnie. Hey, Ronnie, how you doing? I'm Dave. I just turned myself in. I did the right thing. Man, let me tell you. Let me ask you something. Can I have my hand back? Yeah. Let me tell you something, man. So I'm going to court for beating up my wife, right? And I mean, I didn't really do it. Well, I mean, I kind of did it. But that's, they don't have no evidence. I just want your opinion. And I'm like, hey, look, man, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lay down for a little bit, right? And then we can talk later. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead. I just wanted to ask you if, you know, she had my phone with the picture on it where I, where her eye was black. They don't have no evidence that I was the one that did it. I was like, well, is she coming to court? Because now I'm like, I'm going to milk this for all I can. You got some entertainment. Now. Yeah, immediately I'm like, oh, my life ain't that bad right now. Right. This guy's in here for black in his old lady's eye, right? Which is horrible. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was horrible. So I'm like... That didn't sound very convincing at all. Well, I mean, I'm glad he was in there. Um, yeah, of course. Right? So he's just he's just sitting there and, and he's he's talking and if you could hear him... I'm like, well, where are you staying at? He was like, oh, I was at the in-town suites. We had a, a apartment at, or the... What do they call it? The yeah. studio efficiency. Yeah, he had an efficiency... A hotel room is what yeah, it is. Yeah, it was a hotel room with a microwave or something. They're not bad, though. I mean, if you don't have anywhere else to go... For like 300 and something dollars a week, you got your place. Yeah. He's just telling me, I was like, well, what happened? I, now I'm curious, you know? I'm like, well, what happened? And he's, he, he's like, well, you know, we were, she fell. I was like, is that what you're going to tell the judge? Is that your defense that she fell down the stairs? It's like. How long did you work on this defense? <laughs> he was like, look, dude, all I want to know is. Can they convict me just off of her word? And I was like, yeah. Yes, they can. And we're going to talk more about this later. He's like, all right, yeah, 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 yeah. I just want to show you this picture, right? And I'm like, dude, for real. Like, can I please lay down? Hold on, he wants to show you a picture of what? And where is he going to show you this picture? Does he have a? Does he have the phone in there with no, him? No, he has got his case. Oh, his motion of discovery. Man... He told me he blacked her eye. But you saw the picture? But she fell. Right? He beat the shit out. He beat the shit out of this girl, man. Like, really bad. And what he did was, she got mad at him and he got mad at her. And he found her texting somebody on her phone or something. Were they involved with drugs, do you think? Do you know? I think, yeah, I think they were smoking crack. Man, he mauled her with her cell phone. Like, continually, like, the the description of his case was, like, malicious wounding by cell phone. That's crazy. You know, her face had, like, cuts on it. Like, he was just, like, bashing her face with the cell phone. They, they, he said they found him on, like, military military highway, like, walking down the street, right? And I'm now, by now, I'm like, oh, they put me in the cell with a freaking psycho, right? And so now, he- You're worried about it. he might bash you in the face. He thing. finally lets me lay down, right? Now I'm laying there and it's like- In the defense mode, curled up, curled got, up in the fetal. <laughs> I got the blanket over my head and I can't sleep because I'm like straining to listen. To what he's doing. Yeah, I'm like, what is he doing over there? And you know, so I don't mean to cut you off, but I have to bring this point up. Oh no, you did. Well, I do apologize. Don't apologize. Just know that you did it. Yeah. Touche. I say all of that to say this. How many times have you heard that in your life? Or while locked up? Oh no, what's the one where you're locked up? Uh, one thing for sure. Two, two things, things for, for certain. certain. Hey, one thing for sure, two things for certain, homeboy. You're like, hey yo, you can bet it. You better bet it. Oh, I think of myself like. Oh, that's money right there? Hey, that's straight money. <laughs> oh, that's a lock. What yeah. you talking about? That's a lock. We behind locks and balls right now. Yeah, that's a lock. A lot of crazy things you will definitely hear being said repeatedly while in prison. But getting back to the point that I was trying to make when I did cut you off, I do apologize for that, is 
you know, no matter whether it's your first day getting locked up or you've been locked up, getting into a new housing situation, a new cell, and being locked in a cell with somebody who is either, like you're saying, insane or weirdo, or somebody that just doesn't give you a very good feeling or sense with that first impression, that is an absolutely uncomfortable situation. And literally, it's almost like you have to sleep in there with one eye open. Oh yeah, I, I didn't I didn't sleep for real. It was hard to sleep. Now was it because of the fact of him or was it because of the fact that, you know, again, this was day one and you're probably thinking about a lot of stuff. Well it was because of him. Like I wasn't afraid if something were to happen, but I was afraid that he would do like just Kirk out and do something. Cause you were at a disadvantage with all of this. I mean yeah, you I went in there. You went in there like broke wing. I mean, you had one good wheel. Yeah, one good wheel. Did you have your crutches in the cell with you? Yep. Well, then you were probably at more of an advantage. Dude was crazy. Was he a bigger guy? No, no, no. no. He's about my size. Well, describe to me what he looked like. He if you could a, compare him to anybody. He had a really big forehead, dude. Like Sort of like yours? No, bigger than mine. Wow. Yeah, he had a really big That's forehead. That's actually hard to like imagine. Like a protruding forehead. And he kind of had a lisp. I've got a lisp. Right. <laughs> Sometimes I don't realize my lip is still not fully closed as I'm speaking. <laughs> what? I'm like the lip whisperer. What? <laughs> the lip whisperer. <laughs> lisp whisperer. Yeah, but this is the crazy thing. So this is my celly, right? Oh, another thing he wanted to talk about was commissary. You're just getting in. You've been in for, like, how many hours at this point? A few. Right? I've been in jail for a few. I've been in the cell for, like, 15 minutes. I've already got this guy's whole case. Like, the guy... So, if you were a snitch, it was over for him. Abs oh, he told on himself. He was like, I mean, I did it. I mean, I'm just going to go with that. I wasn't there when that happened. They're going to believe that every single time. Especially the fact that this is the second time he was in jail for whooping his wife's butt. He whooped her butt too. I mean, she was she was messed up. Med pass comes. The nurse comes to pass out medication, right? And he's got a Skittles pack. Yes, but the nurse goes, "Look, oh yeah, his name's Rodney. We're gonna go with Rodney, remember?" So she says his name, and then she goes, All right, "You're taking your meds, right, Rodney?" And he's like, "Yeah," and he looks at me and winks. Like, 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 yeah, we got him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I'm thinking to myself, like, oh my God, this dude is not taking his psychotic medication. I'm in the cell. So he falls asleep. I'm tapping on the door. I'm like, yo, you gotta get me, you out. Gotta get me out of here. So they move me. They move me. I end up going to, uh, Hampton Roads Regional, right? I end up getting transferred to the other jail. I'm in there. They put me in the mental health block. That's where they put me to do my suicide. My 24 hour, my last 24 hours of suicide. They put me, excuse me. They put me in the suicide cell in but the mental ain't, health block. This still ain't the first day. This is way past the first day. It's a week later. Okay. But it's my first day in this jail. Okay. Right. So I'm in here. They move for me to do my 24 hour suicide. They put me in the suicide cell, the camera cell inside the mental health block. So you were in there with all of the crazies. Yeah, but they're out in the block. They're in population. But my cell is right there. Like, I go up to the door, and I can see them, right? So when they're bringing me to my cell, lo and behold, guess who I see in the mental health block? Who? The first, Rodney. <laughs> the same guy. Rodney is in the damn cell. Or in the in the pod, in the mental health pod. At the at the next jail, this guy followed you. Yeah, look. So, me being the retard that I am, right? When I see him, I'm like, hey, what's up, man? I was like, yo, ain't this the mental health block? Why they got you over here? This dude goes, I don't know. I don't know. This is where they put me. There's, I guess, the jail's full. Yeah, the jail's full. Right. So, I'm weak. I go in the cell. After that, these dudes continually come to my window. Now you're naked in this I'm cell. I'm butt naked. I'm butt naked in this cell. And they keep coming to the window like, do, 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 do. 
One dude, first dude, do do. You got some coffee? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, uh, yo, yo. No, actually, um, uh, <laughs> look, first dude, do 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 do. Hey man, what happened to your leg? Right? And I was like, <laughs> the only thing you're wearing is a cat. <laughs> look, I look at him. I go, what are you talking about? Right? I, I told you, as retarded, I was like, nothing. I'm good. Like nothing happened to. Me. He's like, man, something happened to your leg, man. What happened to your leg? I was like, oh, I broke it. He's like, oh, man, I knew you looked different. And I'm thinking to myself, like, well, I ain't never met this guy in my life. I don't know what in the world he saw. He thought he knew you. Yeah, he thought he knew me. Did he know your name? Charlie. (laughs) Hey, Charlie. Charlie bit me. (laughs) Hey, but no, he was like, he was like, come on, man. Charlie. Weren't you just in here? And I'm thinking to myself, like, no. But I'm going. This is, I told you, I'm stupid and I'm looking for entertainment. You got to think, the last suicide cell I was in in Chesapeake, there was nothing. There was nothing. There was nobody around. Like, if, when the police came to the account, handcuffs. <laughs> I'm like, hey, man, so what's going on? I would just start talking to the, the cops, would be like this. The cops would be like, um, dude, you're naked, and I'm not trying to. <laughs> I'm not trying to have a conversation with you. Look, Though I might be a guard, you're still look, a naked man. They, they would just be like, uh, I got to finish my rounds. Hold on, wait. Wait, don't go yet. <laughs> don't go yet. Tell me everything that was on the news yesterday. I, 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 I ain't seen the world in, look, in 48 hours. Look, it was just like on the way out. You know, remember when we're trying to sneak out, we had to keep going to the bars, and you catch the guard's attention, you'd be like, what time is it? Hey, man, can I get an extra blanket? Man, it's cold in here, man. Go ask the mental health officers, can I get a... Pillow or something. Like, I just ask them anything, right? Would they give you conversation? Would they kick it with you? Some of them that knew me from before. Some of them that... Because by then, I told them the story about APS. How dude had seen me through the visit. Got me put in there. Why I was in there. They would watch the videos. Then they'd come kick it with me. You know, talk to me about it. Well... When I left there, I came to this jail and it was completely different. Well, these guys are, you know, knocking on the window. And like I said, I was starved for conversation. So when these crazy people are knocking on the window and talking to me, I'm just like feeding into everything you're saying. You got saying. your proverbial popcorn right there at the window. You're just like, uh-huh. I mean, I- you're, you're, you're super crazy. But, <laughs> but keep talking to me about the sky being the color orange and Dude. you're seeing pink floating Dude, penguins. So one dude comes up to me, he's like, hey man, you get, now they're not allowed to talk to you for real, so they get in trouble. But they don't They really, don't care. Yeah. Right, so they're coming up to the cell, and you'll hear it, you won't, they won't go to the window, they'll go stand on the wall next to the crack in the door, and they'll be like, Psst. right, and I'm like, what? <laughs> like, they're bothering me, you know what I mean? I'm like, what? God. And he's like, Hey, are you getting any conversation? <laughs> right? And I'm like, look, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm getting conversation. Back here. Right? I'm like, yeah, I'm getting conversation when they let me out of suicide. Well, usually they put you watch in the pod yeah, so, that you're going to go into. Okay. Right? So I'm, I'm like, yeah, when I get out of this, I'm going to have commissary. He's like, you want some coffee? I was like, yeah. How are you going to drink it? Right? They gave me a styrofoam cup. I'm drink. I, I start drinking this coffee this dude gives me. Now two things. I'm like, damn, I owe this crazy dude some coffee. And another thing, I'm like, damn, I'm butt naked in a cell with nothing to do and I'm jacked up on coffee. Like I'm like, I don't know where to go, what to do. It's getting a little crazy. Well, finally, I've been in here. Now it's been 20 hours. I can't sleep. I done already slept 48 hours straight in the other jail. Now I'm here. I cannot sleep this last 24 away. It's like go- I'm going nuts. Finally, this sergeant comes, and she's like this tall, dude. So when she comes to the window, she's like, (laughs) Mr. Tordoff, mental health's here to talk to you. And now I'm like, yes, you got to talk to them to get cleared to get out of this place, right? So she's like, um, mental health. Did she really have to climb up on the list? Yes, dude. Yeah, she's like, she's like five foot even. Five foot nothing. Yeah, she, yeah, she's like this tall. Right, so she, Mr. Tordoff, mental health's here to talk to you. I'm like, all right, get up. 
I'm like, you might want to look away, you know, because I got my turtle suit, but I got the thing completely off, and I'm just using it as a blanket. So I'm like, she's like, all right, I, I put my freaking turtle suit on, I go up there, and I'm talking to her, I'm like, please do not put me in this pod when I come out of this. <laughs> right? You got to move me. I already got one crazy guy over from coffee. <laughs> look, she goes, you don't take medication? I was like, no. That got you in the wrong block. She cracks up laughing. Like, the whole situation's freaking hilarious. She's just like, oh, you, uh, you mean, uh, you mean that you don't take medication? You're, oh, yeah, we're going to move you out of here. And she just peels out. I'm in there for another six hours. You know what I'm saying? So, finally, you should have seen me. They bring, they brought my stuff, open the chuck hole, and just start pushing stuff in commissary that I got from the other jail. They're pushing clothes in. I'm like, oh God, all my whites that I, man, I'm putting clothes in. I'm, I'm, I'm about, I'm about ready to dance. I felt so good. <laughs> right. So I got all this, I get all my stuff and, uh, I'm walking. They, they got me ready. She comes, she's like, we got you out of here. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, all right, where am I going? She was like, well, you're going to a medical pod, but it's not mental health. I'm like, all right. And it's because your leg's still broken. Yeah, well, my, I had time. I gave the dude his coffee back, too. You know what I'm saying? So, they get me all ready, pack me up. I got my stuff. I'm handcuffed. I'm walking out of the pod. And there's my first celly, the crazy guy, right? He's Old like... Oh, Rodney. Oh, Rodney. Well, Rodney's like, hey, man, where are you going? I looked at him and I said, it looks like they found some room somewhere else in the jail. Looks like they're not as full as they once wore. <laughs> I'm in my head thinking to myself like, I'm not supposed to be here with you. The dude was crazy. Crazy as a bed bug. But, I mean, it was entertainment. It helped get by the first week, the first few days, and then that day. And the first time I talked to you on the phone, and we were, um, I guess you were live streaming when I called. And I'm I'm so excited after that. Like you just telling me, you know, everybody, you know, riding with me and stuff. I remember this. You were in the cell with this guy. Yeah. And you were telling me at first. I remember this vividly. Now you were like, it's cool. They got me in this cell with this guy. He's pretty cool. And then I guess you found out that he wasn't so cool. No, I just was on the phone in the cell. They wheeled the phone to oh. the chuckle. What am I supposed to be like? My cell is crazy as hell, <laughs> dude. You gotta call the jail and move me. Right now. And then I get off the phone and he's like, so who was you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> it's only me in here. So, uh, <laughs> no, he probably... I might be crazy, but I can put one and one together. It equals 15. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not that. I had another celly this big. And uh, it was almost the same thing. But he seemed really cool. This big white guy. He seemed really cool. It actually turned out to be really cool. But like one night we're sitting there kicking it. And he's like, like he tells me he's like psychotic and. He hears voices that tell him to do stuff. He's like, but you ain't got nothing to worry about. I don't listen to him. Oh, oh, that's nice. <laughs> I'm glad to know that you've got voices inside of your head, and we're stuck in this little 4 by 6 type cell. Yo. And these voices are telling you to do what exactly? Yeah, right? So that was another crazy... But he, he was all right. He wasn't that bad. I think he was just being funny. I, I don't know. Maybe he was just trying to scare you. Maybe Dude, he thought it was your first time ever being locked up. I don't know. Dude, I've only had one good celly. Out of the whole time I've been locked up. You know, I want to say something real quick, too. I wanted to talk about what your first day was like. We definitely spent a lot of time talking about that first celly that you had. But I think it's just as interesting. We're going to probably have to get back on this topic maybe in another video. But I think it's just as interesting talking about people that you were sharing a cell with. Yeah, yeah well, I've only, like I said, I've only had one good celly. Like, every celly I've ever had was... Weird, scary, smelled funny, <laughs> old, nothing in common with this guy. Hey man, you see, hey you see that new show on TV last night? What you talking about? Mash. <laughs> that show about Vietnam with them helicopters. <laughs> Mash, the new show. Oh man, you super old man. We got nothing in common. Look, what was it? What's the other, sh the Western show there? Gunsmoke. Oh my God. Take Dude. it off TV. And they'll watch it in prison too. All day long. But. My, the best seller I ever had, his name's Terry. And actually, 
it's like, you know how me and you got out and, and we got up and we've... We met while locked up. We became friends. Well, it was the same thing with Terry, man. I got out and I looked him up. He, me and him were cellies for like 18 months or something like that. You shared a cell with this guy for that long? Yeah, in Virginia Beach Jail. Good God. Let me tell you something. You're going to learn a lot about a person spending a year and a half locked inside of a cell with them. Yeah, actually, we eat, poop, work out. You, hold on, whoa, whoa, whoa. Like he poops <laughs> in the. He Back poops up. Like Back feet. up. Dave, I might be a little sick, but I got to. I he gotta, takes a dump I gotta like stop a few feet away from where I sleep. Dave, you at. literally just said we poop together. You eat, you eat poop. <laughs> no, I didn't. That's exactly what your words were. Roll that back one time. <laughs> we eat poop. We eat poop. We eat poop. You just said we eat poop. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Yes, but you know, you're just, you're in that close proximity. You do everything around each other. Yeah, man. 24-7. Eat, sleep, use the restroom. Is that the way we're supposed to say it? No, I mean, it just, it just sounded less... Separate it and make yeah. it less vulgar. Yeah. Less like you're eating doo-doo. But again, you spent a year and a half locked up with this guy. Yeah. And, uh, man, we just got real tight. The crazy thing is, actually... When I came in, I was assigned to the bottom bunk, and he was on the bottom bunk, right? So you were like, hey, I'm yo, thinking man. he's look, I'm thinking he's sleeping, right? I'm like, I tell my homeboy that I see in the jail, I'm like, yeah, this dude's gonna have problems. Do you think he gonna ain't gonna get on that top bunk, right? <laughs> and my homeboy's like, oh no, nah, Terry's cool. Terry's real cool. And then I hear Terry go, yeah, Terry's real cool. I was like, I was just playing, man. <laughs> I didn't know you was really awake and listening. He stands up. It's like, you're... He's like 6'4". He's as tall as you are. Right? I was like, man, yeah, it'll be cool. I mean, if you want to be on the bottom bunk still, I mean... No, nah, nah, that won't happen. I was messed up at that time. My back was messed up. I was like, no, I was assigned to bottom bunk. I was like, oh, yeah, my bad, bro. <laughs> Your back was about to be more messed up. Medical? Oh, you had the medical stuff? Yeah, I was... Uh, yeah, you know, you think you're sleeping on this bottom bunk, but uh, I got this piece of paper from medical right here that says, I'm getting that bunk. Fuck! <laughs> Get your ass on the top bunk. And you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> Have you ever seen that? We've seen what? Did someone get beat up for a bed? Absolutely. It's crazy. <laughs> I'm looking at him going, dude. You're fighting over a bunk. Number bump. one, you just hit that dude for a bottom bunk. Number two, you had to have known that that was going to happen, so why did you even... If you ain't going to do nothing... You know, it's the craziest thing to think about. Some of the craziest things guys will fight over in prison or in jail. Something as simple as a bunk. A bunking assignment. Hey, man, you're in my bunk. Because you'll have guys who are sleeping on the top bunk. Whoever's sleeping underneath them leaves, goes home, gets transferred, whatever. That bunk below them is empty, and then they're moving to that bottom bunk, at least until the next person comes in. Hey, yo. It don't look like your bunk. It's got all my stuff in it. Oh, well, we about to put that in the boulevard right now, stick man. Oh, you ain't gonna move that? You ain't gonna move it? I'm, I'm gonna move it for you. Boom! Hey, why I'm waking up in the bathroom, though? And why, why am I... Why I can't sit down right? No, but seriously. <laughs> Guys, we'll fight over something as stupid as a bunking assignment while serving time. Me and Terry didn't fight, though. We didn't fight. Actually, we became super cool, super quick, and that was my dude. I got out, I looked him up, I went, I met him, met his wife, Devin. They are absolutely cool people, and we've been super cool ever since. What's he doing in life now? Well, he's actually, he's a contractor for, through Home Depot. They, uh, so he's got a decent job, yeah. got, his, got his stuff together. Yeah. And this was somebody that used to talk to me a little bit about uh, while you were just serving this last year. You told me, you know, aside from me, aside from a few of the APS Army Strong individuals who really support this channel, and also Dave, aside from those type of folks who were holding you down through this, you know, sending you things to eat, sending you books to read. Yeah, Terry and Devin were there for me, too. He was doing the same thing. Yeah, I, talk, I talked to him a bunch of times while I was in there. And, uh, you know, when I was out there, you know, on drugs and messed up, they were like, look, you can't can't be around us if you're doing this you know and I, I couldn't stop at the time and they 
Tough Love was like, well, and I didn't see him for a long time. It really hurt me. And then when they found out I was getting clean, you know, they were like, you're going to have to prove it. Like, you know, your word ain't nothing right now because of this. But then I got on with you and we started hanging out. And then you put me on a show a couple times, made a couple videos, and they were able to see that. And they seen the change in me. And ever since then, we've been back linked up. And it's, I'm glad. You know, Terry's a good dude, man. You know, he's been through a lot. He's been locked up a lot. He's, he did nine years straight, you know, and he's got some stories too, man. He done tattoos. He's been in some high maximum security penitentiaries where crazy stuff went down, you know. And he's just an all-around funny guy. You know, ah, it's my homie. It's my, it's my dude. Look, we're getting close to the time. We need to wrap this up. But Dave, let's talk about some things real quick. As far as what's been going on with you in these two weeks that you've been on, I think today marks two weeks. You know, Actually, today... It's Monday. Yeah, today's two weeks. Time has absolutely been flying by. Yeah. And absolutely. things have been... How have things been? They've been good. It's been fast, but it's been good. You know, my probation, I ain't got, you know, too much there on my back. They're happy with what I'm doing and where I'm going, so... They see what you're doing every single day, pretty yeah. much, so... I don't think it could get any more real for them, the changes that you're trying to make for yourself than being able to actually watch it in a video. Absolutely. Look, we're gonna go ahead and wrap this video up now. I wanna allow Dave to share some of these prison stories of what he just went through throughout this last year that he had to serve. And if that's something that you guys would be interested in, you know, please comment and let me know. Hey, look, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did so, please leave a like and a comment letting me know exactly what you thought about it. As always, enjoy life, the free world. The free world. The free world. You gotta have some. Enjoy life. The free world. Never take a moment for granted. And make the most of every day. Peace.